time now to tell you what's been happening in the world of sports. We've got some news on the Black Stars versus USA. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail, Senna mm. Sosa joins me in the studio. Abigail, I'm not impressed, as always, mm. with the performance of the Stars. Yeah. Um, like an ordinary Ghanaian, of <laughs> course, the, the scoreline will not be what you expected. But Coach Okusiapia is also of a different view. He thinks that it is an opportunity for him to try the new players he has and build one that even if he should leave after a month, after a year, someone will sit down and say, okay. So that is what he also added to the fold. But I thought that from that play, we, we thought that um, something more could could have come from that game after we lost to Mexico in the first one. Though they are friendly still, but... Hey, as a Ghanaian, though, we know it's the win win and exactly. win no matter what. Be but mm -hmm. because what is the essence of playing a very beautiful game mm. and not bringing me the scores? Yeah, clearly it shows us that we as a country maybe are not just planning and we are not just learning. Look at the United States of America. Let's see the last time we played them was in the World Cup and just see how much they have transformed so much mm -hmm. with, without their stars, without the Clint Dempsey's, without the Bradley's. And that if we you're know. talking about US, mm. US is not a football country. Yes. If you were talking about basketball, basketball that's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, but for a football country mm. like Ghana I mean, to allow learning. itself to be scored so by the US, is unacceptable. Which is the, the underlying word is learning. I think we are just participating, we are just watching, <laughs> but the other countries are learning. Yes, and that is what they taught us in that game. And let's talk about our captain, Asamajan. Uh, <laughs> yesterday yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yesterday was exactly seven years. He missed that one in the World Cup, but he told us in several interviews that he was not going to kick penalties for Ghana. So I said, uh, when I saw that, that penalty awarded, I was just asking myself, is it Jamna who is going to take it? So who is going to take that? Mm. And then you see Asamajan behind the ball, and unfortunately, I'm just this is that. Yeah, in that mm. situation, who takes the decision? Is it the coach who will tell you, okay, mm. there's a penalty, you have to take this? Or what, what happens? Or it has to be an mm. instant decision from any of the players. Is that what happens? It, it looks like it, it was an instant decision. And for me, I'm, I'm surprised why Asamojan decided to do that. Maybe he thought it was just a friendly, so... Because if, if we know his that, history. Yeah, he, he's promised himself he was not going to do it. Is it going, is, did he just defy the order? Did he just change his mind? That moment, <laughs> you, you can never tell. But I think he redeemed himself with an excellent free kick. I saw, that, I saw him... Um, score uh, exactly the same thing in one of their training sessions in Accra before they left for the United States of America. It looks like it's something he's been practicing with time and it came out so, 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 so well for him. I think that moment he redeemed himself. He killed us and redeemed himself at the same time though. But um, we're also looking out for our local players who had, had the chance the first time to be in the national team. And yes, he gave some outfit players at the time and a lot of people thought that that one person you added to the midfielders that was built for Kobna for Accra had to focus, should have been on that game to, to set a certain tone. I thought that in that game again the United States of America, mm. our midfield was a little lost. We, it, is, it has been our strongest part when it comes to the field. But I thought that in that game, we needed someone who could slow the game, someone who could possess the ball, someone who could take the pace and give those insights. Is it not the and same mm. problem of being too confident? I mean, U.S. is just, you know, a basket. No, no, not too confident. I think that we didn't really prepare for that one. And don't forget, the United States of America, they are preparing for, uh, I think, a cup game. So they are already in tune for... Uh, um, something already and mm. we like we, we told ourselves we are trying our new players and um for some of them that didn't have the chance i thought that maybe everybody could have been thrown in there within some 10 5 minutes 10 minutes for us to see exactly what they bring on board there's a lot when it comes to the black stars though but yeah. talking about learning the, the germans also have showed us that if you plan you can get a good succession plan for your national team. Mm. Look at the side that won the Confederations Cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 23 years captain, you can get 21 in there. So that is a team that can go on and play in the Olympics. That is a team that, if I'm not too confident of them to say, they can even go into Russia and play in the World Cup because they played so much, They're so, so well. much impressed you. <laughs> See, okay, but th that, that, that age, to that composure to stand against Chile, we have that Turo Vidal, Alessio Sanchez. You think that, okay, this is a star side side that knows just how to play. They were bullied a little, but they just did what was needed. They gave them that one goal. And Germany have the Confederations Cup, so let's just learn as we watch. Lovely. Any other thing we should expect this week? Um, today, later today, there will be a replay of the um, Kotoko and Hearts President's Cup game. <laughs> that should have been played yesterday, but some rains uh, poured heavily in Kumasi. So after 1-1, when Kotoko led through a penalty and has equalized,
to um, uh, defend the Western Tatinga. The thing that um, organizers up to this time are still contemplating their conflicting news that they have agreed to play. Others are also saying that after that meeting this morning, they might, one person just wants to pull out, so we don't really know. But all things mm. being equal, we are expecting that a replay of the President's Cup will come up later this afternoon. I don't know whether I'm the only one, but I feel mm. that uh, since, let's say, the latter part of 2015, mm. Ghanaians have begun showing a, a, a little more interest in our local uh, games. Um, uh, am I the only one observing that? No. But you, I, I think that this is a country that has a lot of talent on any day, on any platform. But um, like you said, we have not given that attention. We always want to go out there and watch the Premier League. We want to watch Champions League because they add something to it. Maybe we are just trying to do that something and it's getting people's attention mm. back. And we as media men and women, I think that we've put in a lot of effort when it comes to our Ghana Premier League. You get some of my colleagues going out of their way to promote their league in their own way, not mm. relying on monies from anyone. So you, you look that we are trying very hard to embrace that which is ours and so i think if we continue like that sooner or later we'll just be proud of what we have thank you very much abigail Sena Susu, for bringing us the latest in the world of sports and that'll be it for news desk on joy news my name is beatrice edu for more news log on to my thank you so much for joining us today happy republic day